and welcome back to Wrestling on the Rat. My name is Eastside Dave of the Morning Rat Race. Make sure you're listening 6 to 10 each and every weekday morning. With me for the wrestling matches, my partner, the doctor of style, Roy Harder. And tonight, we have a very special presentation. I tried to get this match buried. I tried to make sure that this match would not be seen by the American public, by wow. anyone online. But unfortunately, both the IWF and the Rat and the people who create wrestling on the Rat all said you must show this match because it's a match that occurred. So, tonight's match is mine. Whoa! Eastside Dave McDonald, Davey Mack, and I was put in a bodybuilding pose down against... Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. The legendary Mr. Tony Atlas. WWE Hall of Famer, Tony Atlas, and a man who legitimately won at least one, if not two, Mr. USA bodybuilding competitions. Oh, wow. The, yeah, the reason why he's Mr. USA and the reason why he's a bodybuilding god ain't just all fluff. It's because he competed in bodybuilding competitions and won them all. Okay? okay? But... I have been working out. I have been doing my thing. So uh, yeah. So I felt uh, I felt like uh, I was in a, a good enough condition to challenge Mr. USA Tony Atlas, the legend, in this bodybuilding uh, pose down, Roy. Better than you than me, David. Let's go to the match. Let's go to the match. It's wrestling on the rack. <laughs> I don't know about you, David, but I sure as hell am. Ken Reedy. That's our guy, Ken. Ken's such a nice man. Ken's explaining uh, what we got to do here tonight. First of all, let me introduce our first competitor, Eastside Dave, with bodyguard Ken DG. Uh, I hate to be a stickler, Ken, but technically, Vin Digi, I was calling my personal trainer. The guy who was getting me in the best condition. Who's ready for the world's most fit guy in the world? Shut the feedback off! Shut anyway. the feedback off, I had to tell the sound guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a... You know, and yeah, I cut a promo on the sound guy. The, the, the front row heard me. Shut the feedback off. That's a I had to tell him, shut that feedback off when I'm talking. The front row popped for it. <laughs> um, again, but what I want to say about Vin Digi is... That's what you're going to get! It's important you're to make that distinction right between now. personal trainer and bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Mainly because... Who wants to see me crush? Old man. Are you wearing a fishnet bodysuit, David? I am. That's a fishnet. Uh, it's a beautiful fishnet top. So you've never seen this match. I've tried to keep this match hidden. Yeah. I did not want this match to wind up on Wrestling on the Rat. I was forced to display this match by the people at the Rat and the people at the IWF. I feel like, yeah, this... They said you can't bury... You You can't hide history is what yeah, they said. Yeah, uh, this is something that probably should have been scrubbed from the internet, David, if I was, if I was you. But I tried. I will admit. Like George looking, Lucas with the Star Wars Holiday Special. I tried. Now, you're coming out. You're looking pretty uh, intense, pretty strong, pretty confident. I feel great physically. I, mean, uh, I, fe I felt fantastic. Then DG's got your back over here. Yeah. My personal trainer, not my bodyguard. Not bodyguard, yeah, it's personal trainer. That's right, David. Now, by the way, Roy, the main reason why I say that is because I planned on Vin Diesel punching someone in the head. And I, I, but I, I wanted to catch them off guard. If, he's a, if he's a personal trainer, no one's going to think, you know what I'm saying? I hear, I hear that one, David. Well, here's the introduction for Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, being accompanied by Eloy Fiesta. Eloy Fiesta, now... He was a little snake too, wasn't he, David? Eloy Fiesta and I uh, actually uh, have competed a couple times. Once in an arm wrestling competition, Eloy won. I feel like he cheated. The other one was a rap battle for at the IWF. And according to Twitter, I won that. Right. But somehow, IWF decided that Twitter, the uh, official got? results don't count. So oh. they, they never gave me an actual victory. So currently in my career, I'm 0-16 in the wonderful sport of professional wrestling. Either as a wrestler or as a manager, I'm 0-16. I'm very upset 
by the stat. That seems like a strange uh, stat, David, but uh, oh, here's I can't get a win. Tony Atlas. Now, looking and the one time I got a win, which was uh, with, in the rap battle against Eloy Fiesta, Tony Atlas's manager, yeah. he said no. How did you lose a rap battle, David? I won, I told you. Oh, you won. But they oh. decided that the Twitter results wouldn't be official. Oh, okay. Well, 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 then why have Twitter judge the match in the first place? Exactly, right? Mr. Atlas. Here goes Mr. USA. Tony Atlas, he gets into the ring. I will say this. The man is an absolute legend and is still in peak condition. Oh, yeah. He's got that Mike Tyson. I saw him with his shirt off in the shower the other day. Did you really? Down I, well, I snuck, I snuck my cell phone into the shampoo bottle. And I, I, I was able to catch uh, footage of uh, Tony Atlas. The guy is still ripped. It's unbelievable. Look at how these, these 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 freaks in North Jersey are treating me, and they're singing "Happy Birthday" to Tony Atlas. Is it Mr. Atlas's oh, birthday? Here we go. Trying to tell the people who cares if it's his birthday. We have a sporting competition to do, people. I had to wait for this stupid song to end before I wanted to say something here. Like a real DJ, right? Yeah. 105th birthday, that was good. That was a funny line. Thank you. Ooh. Just be honest. That's right. Just trying to tell the people like it is. Stop having silliness in games. This is professional wrestling. This isn't a birthday song. The only reason why this guy even won the Mr. USA competition is because I wasn't in it. And there's some truth and accuracy. Yep. I was not in those competitions. You are not one I to hold. You are not there. one to hold back. I wasn't David. there. If I was there, maybe the results would be different. Oh, watch when Tony grabs the uh, the the mic and watch what kind of BS guilt trip he tries to lay in on everyone, telling us it's his birthday. What is this? I have a lot of respect for you. Really? And here in Jackson, the hardest stuff to put in this ring. Today is my birthday. Who cares? Could be America's birthday. Mr. Mr. Alice is such a legend. It doesn't matter. I'm, a, I'm an old man. Let me tell you something. What do you think? Is when it's Tom Brady's birthday, they, they stop tackling him? Oh, so, <laughs> He's you got you there, of, I'll tell you what, Tony. I'm, I'm starting to get fired up a little bit. Yeah. Just watching this, we're doing a sort of a, a something new with this match. This is a bit of a director's commentary, if you will. But watching this re-watching this back i'm getting a little ptsd now look at this beautiful outfit tell me i'm not in prime physical condition right there the uh, beautiful right said fred top that people haven't seen since uh i'm too sexy came out in 1992 i thought it was about time to bring back the right said fred i'm trying to simply do my pose down routine so basically roy was whoever we're, we're, we're gonna do four poses okay and whoever gets the biggest applause at the end wins well, the ladies are not liking you. No, so that far, one dude. lady in the front hates me. She always calls me a stupid loser. That was the lady in the front right there who calls me a stupid loser. Stupid the one loser. with the purple shirt on. Oh yeah. Me. Now here comes I like her. So, so I thought I got a pretty decent reaction there, but here's Tony getting a better reaction for sure. I'll, I'll give him wow. that. I'll give him that. The fans were clapping. And now watch when I accidentally slip and fall right there. I was trying to get some lint off of Tony's back. <laughs> I slipped and fell. And then he said something under his breath. And that's why I, I started to do the kicking in the corner. The initial, you know, people said the sneak attack, dirty sneak attack. And now watch this. He got out of the way. I hit Vin Digi, my physical, wow. personal trainer. <laughs> wow. I hit him. And then things. this is when things went really badly Tony for really Vin Digi and I. <laughs> oh dear David. He slams my head into the turnbuckle. Over here I tried to block it with the foot, but didn't I mean, really work. It, Double Naga knocker coming up. Boom! He slams my head into Vin Digi. I've been seeing triple ever since. He see he headbutted me again. I've gotten eight different things of CTE running through. He's not gonna take off your pants now, is he David? I think he was threatening to kick me in the in the ball area. And I was pleading with him, don't do that. I guess my, my, my pleas actually worked because I uh, pleaded with the birthday boy. Have a heart on your birthday for crying out loud. He, he didn't do it. And I thought that was good to go, but instead he closed lights. Oh, so he didn't actually help me out that much. Oh. 
Now you got He's, through how many poses, David? One pose, I believe it was? I did all four. The camera cut away. I guess they didn't think I was uh, whatever in Tony's league. But clearly, you could see my physique is on the same level as Tony Atlas's. I would guarantee you that if you took uh, sort of like one of those tape measures, our biceps are probably the same exact size. You think so? Yeah. Welcome back to Wrestling on the Rat. So, Roy Harder, I mean, uh, thoughts and opinions about that? I feel like I wasn't treated fairly by the IWF fans. I feel like I wasn't uh, treated fairly by Tony Atlas. Well, uh, David, in his defense, you did kind of uh, sneak attack him after uh, after he displayed it. There was some lint, some dust on the back of his jacket. I was walking towards him. I tripped. My elbow, my left forearm went into his back. And, and then he mutters, hey, hey. You sneak attack me, and then I start kicking him in the corner. But be, but only because he accused me of something that I don't feel like I was doing. Fair enough, David. Now I will admit, uh, Mr. Atlas is in fantastic physical shape. Unbelievable! For, for He's a legend. He certainly is, and, and rightfully so. And I believe you may be on your way to achieving that legendary status too, David. Thank you very much. I appreciate the Doctor Style, Roy Harder. So this was a a fun special episode. We're gonna get back to the regular action-packed wrestling on the rat. Next month, thank you all for joining us. Eastside Dave, Roy Harder, Wrestling on the Rat.